This is the Artilim Boulevard through the years. The Artilim Boulevard in Sambuanga City is more than a kilometer long seaside road overlooking the Great and Little Santa Cruz Islands. This stretch is commonly called Kawakawa Boulevard. Let us go back to 1979 and 1999 and see what Kawakawa Boulevard looked like. We now see the iconic lampposts, the benches, and the rocks. In 2008, the city officials decided on the expansion and facelifting of the Kawakawa Boulevard. And this is how it looked in 2011. However, the port side still retained the old look. Here is a glimpse of the Regatta de Zamboanga, last October 2012. Then Congresswoman Bang and Mayor Celso rode on the Vinta. But sadly, just after the 2013 Zamboanga siege, this is how the Artillon Boulevard looked like. Unfortunately, many of the internally displaced persons wanted to live by the sea rather than in the Joaquin Enrique Stadium. It seemed like a miracle that it, after a year, all the tents were removed from the seaside and the center islands. Some stories say the IDPs were afraid of an upcoming tsunami. Actually, they have been relocated to the transitory sites. The activities at the Artelin Boulevard continued. Some went jogging, walking, strolling, and of course, the ongoing widening. Although the IDPs no longer live here, some of them continue to linger around. Do you see their boats? The Regatta de Zamboanga resumed in October 2015. And the widening and facelifting of the Artelin Boulevard continued. There are now palm trees with base support seen. With the Green 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 program in 2019, additional plant boxes with palm trees with base support are now noted. So many additional structures were being placed in the boulevard. In the year 2020, most of the structures are now in place. The trees have grown taller and the plant boxes are now filled with green plants. There are now two sets of large I Love Sambuanga landmarks along the boulevard. Although this landmark is really attractive, it's quite difficult to have a selfie since it is by the roadside. The trees have indeed grown and no longer need the base support.
and this is the Boy Scout of the Philippines, Centennial Marker. The Sambuanga City Waterfront and Heritage Walk was officially inaugurated February 26, 2021. By the way, the Artilin Boulevard is named after Rosalier T. Lim, a Philippine senator from Sambuanga. At the port side, this is the Artilin Boulevard, just as the sun starts setting. We can now see the palms lining the boulevard. Note the iron railings now lining the port side of the boulevard. However, I think we need to clean up our shores. Please keep this up. After the start of the pandemic, the Regatta de Sambuanga resumed October 2022. And this is a beautiful Sambuanga sunset. By the way, cars and motorbikes can just park by the boulevard. Even in the evening, there are still lots of people strolling around, bonding and just hanging out. Now you've seen the Artillan Boulevard through the years and the changes that it has undergone. Do you remember how it looked before? I believe what remains the same are the iconic lampposts. Tell us what you think of Sambuanga City's Artilim Boulevard.